Hey booze, it's Chef Taj from Foodie Fridays with Taj and I'm here on Swerve TV. Hey booze, it's Chef Taj with Foodie Fridays with Taj and today I'm here with DJ Swerve, Swerve Nation. Hey. And I am making crab and shrimp cakes sliders with garlic parmesan fries. Here are my seasonings. I am going to use eight ounces of claw crab. So just put that in there. Um, seasonings, you know, I have some Ove, parsley, lemon pepper, something special, a little secret. Okay, a little secret. I have um, <laughs> some garlic, some uh, minced garlic, some assorted peppers, one cup. So I'll just mix all this. Mm. Um, like the smell of spice is already kicking. Like, yeah, that's I'm gonna use a cup of mayonnaise and a cup of pink girl. Uh, seasoned breadcrumb. Okay, so for the shrimp, I'm gonna cut the shrimp. Um, you can cut it into three pieces, maybe. You don't, you can have it big if you want to, but I'll just chop it a little bit so it can go better with the uh, and the crab cake mix. You can use a chopper. You can do it whatever way you want. I'm just using scissors. You can cut it with a knife. Um, after this, I'll add my breadcrumbs and my mayonnaise and squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice in there. Ooh, that's gonna be, mm. Fat boy time is almost gonna be fat boy time. <laughs> I can't wait. Y'all gonna see, wait till y'all see my face when it's all done. Swear TV. So, a half a uh, fresh squeezed lemon, like, this is the, this is the kicker. The lemon juice, it really brings out, you know, the flavor of the seafood and everything. So, and this is our mix. We're just gonna mix this together really good. Um, you don't want it to be dry. You want it to be a little moist. Um, not too runny. So if you wanted to add more mayonnaise, you can do that. But this should be enough. A cup should be enough for me. And since we're doing sliders, I'm going to measure them with a one-fourth measuring cup. If you were doing a bigger sandwich, I would usually use like a half cup or a cup if you want like a huge jumbo sandwich. Mm -hmm. You want to turn your pan on um, like medium low. You don't want the oils to get too hot because they will burn, you know, fast. And what kind of oil? Put, okay. I use um, vegetable oil. Okay. So you can use vegetable or canola. That's another good oil. Um, just a little, just like the bottom part with oil. Gotcha. Not the Don't entire, soak the whole pan like I might do. Much. Yeah. yeah Don't do like swerve. Not for the fries. You see that? Yes. Don't do like swerve. You know, <laughs> it'd be tadpoles and fish and everything no, swimming no, no, in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you could also, you know, make patties on your own. I just use a measuring cup so they'll all be the same size. And it'll come out looking like this. Mm. So I'm just gonna measure all these out and then we're gonna cook them in the skillet. Um, the cooking time for this recipe is probably about 30 to 45 minutes. It doesn't take long to cook on the, um, in the pan. It'll probably take about 15, 12 or 15 minutes. 
So. So that that thirty minutes is like more so with the prep and the yeah, cooking. Yeah, the prepping, mixing the mixture together. Now I had a question for amateur chefs like myself. You know, I ain't gonna stop you from your flow, uh -huh. of course. But the oils, like the different types of oils, it, it it matters when you're cooking certain things, right? Um. Yeah. I use vegetable oil a lot. Some people, you know, like vegans and stuff like that, they'll use um coconut oil, other things. So I guess it depends on your preference. Gotcha. Yeah. Because some lady was telling me the other day in the store, like, you use certain oils, going to burn too fast when you cook this and this and then the third. So that's why I asked you that question. Um, so, some oils, they do burn fast. Um, that's why I say keep the, the heat, like, medium, medium, like, in between medium and low. Because sometimes you want it to heat up really fast, so you turn it up really high. But once you put the stuff in there, it will burn because the grease is so hot. So you just want your grease to like slowly heat. Like don't be in a rush. You can't be in a rush cooking. But I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna I mean, do it no more. You can't be, but. Maybe one of these future episodes is gonna be the other way around. So you be like, all right, swear, tighten up. Don't use all that oil. <laughs> Shrimp crab cakes are patty up. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start placing them in the oil. So let me ask you a question. So since when my guest pulled, I know my cousin just came in here. She want to get on camera. <laughs> Talking about she coming to get two of them, right? Uh -huh. But how long can those, like, you know, if I don't eat all of them today, how long can I typically keep them in my refrigerator, like? Um, I would say maybe three days. Okay. Because it is seafood. That's the reason why? Yeah. Okay. So what made you get into, you know, this whole... Chef lifestyle. Um, What's your inspiration? It's so funny. Okay. So, I've been cooking for a while. And I love to cook. I've always been, like, the friend that's cooking for the parties and cooking for family and stuff like that. But I actually learned how to cook because my mom, she worked a lot. Shout out to my mama. 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 <laughs> she works a lot. And... She didn't cook as much, so I learned how to cook, you know. So that's how I learned how to cook. And she always be like, don't make it seem like, you know, I didn't cook for you, but she worked a lot. She really worked a lot. So I learned how to cook. And I watched a lot of cooking shows when I was younger, you know, with my grandma and my aunt. So I just, I like to cook. I love cooking. What was, what was some of your favorite cooking shows when you, uh... I used to watch Emerald Live. That's an old show. Um, Rachel Ray. So we're going to make garlic parmesan fries. And I have two russet potatoes. Um, I like russet potatoes for fries, but you can use red, yellow. It's, it's totally your preference. So I just usually like cut them in half. Then cut the half and another half. Then just slice it. What's the most amount of people you have, have you cooked for so far? Um, 70. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Was that family or that was like a gig? Because I know you do a lot of gigs. Yeah, I do catering, so it was catering. What, what other kind of gigs do you, are you taking on right now? Um, so... I do catering, private chef experience. Um, I'm going to start doing picnics, like luxury picnics. Um, I have a lot of ideas. I'm just and that YouTube channel coming soon. Though. We're gonna get that. We're gonna YouTube get your... channel cookbook. <laughs> so this is what your potatoes will look like. Oh my god! So these are the best. These are how you make good fries. Really? Honestly, I've never seen a bag <laughs> do it like this. This is crazy. I mean, you can use the frozen fries in the bag, but... But most, most chefs want their fresh, though. They want that fresh potato right. and just do it how they do it. Right. So, you see? You can cut these in half if you want to make them stretch, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> cut them in half, but I'm going to just leave them alone. So, when I do private chef, like, coming into someone's house cooking... I do a package where you get a table setting, 
You'll get like a personalized menu. You'll get, I mean, if you want it romantic, you can do flowers, you can do rose petals, candles, you know, make it real nice for y'all. And you will be served, you know. Um, it could be buffet style where everything is, you know, set up. So there's a lot of options. It just depends on what you're looking for. Follow me. <laughs> what is it? I can even follow you on that social media and get follow in contact with you. Follow me at Foodie Fridays with Taj. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Okay, TikTok. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> we might have to we might have to try to showcase some of them TikTok videos in a future episode. <laughs> Yes. I'm just gonna drop my fries. Some hot oil. Alright y'all, we getting close, we getting close. Y'all about to see the fat boy in action. I cannot wait to crush. I cannot wait to crush. And we got more episodes. We just agreed. This is the first of many of our collaborative episodes. So appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, like. Hit that notification bell, Spur TV, somewhere in Richmond, Virginia. But guess what? We are everywhere. Uh oh, it's time to sample. It's time to sample. Oh, so these, these are all for me. Okay. I can get all these, right? Oh, uh, you can have one. Oh, this one? <laughs> you can have yeah. one. I only can get one. Okay, so we have the crab cake um, with shrimp added sandwiches. I just topped it with lettuce, tomato, and red onion, and some tartar sauce. That looks good. Mm. It's okay. teasing me right now. All I get is one, y'all. That's messed up. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Don't mess it up, Swerve. Look, look at how he's grabbing it. Look at that. Y'all don't understand all day long for this. And it rained too, so I ain't never, you know, I felt bad at first, but we both some soldiers. Got so me out here in this rain. See, I never thought you were See how that's messed up? All right, here we go. Still waiting on the fries. Still waiting on the fries. Let me talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs> it's good. It's crazy. Everything I hit my mouth at the same time. I can taste everything. The sauces, they just. Yeah. It's a meal right here. Follow me at Foodie Fridays with Taj. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. If you are interested in booking, um, you can email me at foodiefridayswithtaj at gmail.com. And yeah. Do it anyway. <laughs> you until the fries come out, and after that, we'll see y'all on the next episode. But we ain't done yet. We're not done. <laughs> Shout out to all my guys who put come over here for the food tasting, but. Y'all missing Ooh. out. Y'all are missing out. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so you, as you can see, the fries are floating, so that's how you know that they're done. You want them a little bit brown, so we just going to take them out, put them on some paper towel, drain the grease off a little bit. I'm going to... Hit it with a little bit of kosher salt. Some <laughs> Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. <laughs> and if I need some Mrs. Dash in my uh, my little collection of, of spices and sauces and all that. And. We have fancy shredded Parmesan cheese. Bougie, it's bougie Grated shredded. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you got some bougie cheese. Our cheese be bougie, yo. Nah, just and fast. these fries could also be baked, but mm. they will take a little bit longer, like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Mm. It takes it takes longer. What you put on? To bake them. Like 350. 350, 375. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, 
I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put it on a plate so it could look pretty. All right, y'all. The fries is coming up. Now that I had so many, ooh, I had so many of the sandwiches. I don't even know how much I can eat, but we're gonna see. <laughs> right, this is y'all taste test. So we have the garlic parmesan fries. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Hot food. I think it's hot. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Good. Once again, you see it right here. The next episode, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Make sure y'all please follow her movement. And of course, you want to see it scrolling on the video too, but. Oh my God. Oh my God. Until the next episode. Just